I mean, it's probably useful for something like, um, I don't know. It, if I, you were in an area that was crippling with RF right. problems, yes. it's probably where you see the real benefit of something like that. Yeah. Well, and, and like, so when we, I, as a matter of fact, if I remember to get it, um, I can bring it when we go to Florida and we can set it up on a radio and see how much it may or may not help as a, as a variable bandpass filter because that's basically what it is. Let you tighten it up. All right, here's you the know, schematic. How, how for noisy is it there? Because well, I mean, we're going to be at a park, but we're going to have two or three. It's not too bad. You're Mostly because my one neighbor is never here, so he's shut off. But when he is here, he does leave his uh, propane hot water heater on all the time, all night long, and you hear this <sighs> oh, jet engine like starting jet, up jet every engine, time. Yeah, it's Mine's crazy. Really so you can see the... Uh, the three inductors here that I was telling you about. This lower left side box is just the meter, but the, the tuner itself is inductor, capacitor tied to ground, inductor, capacitor tied to ground, inductor, and then antenna.